Mzee Ms. Elda Cornelius Lonika Codet. Mzee Ms. Elda eh? Cornelius Lorica Codet. Cornelius from the white man. Lorica is my father. Codet is was a friend to my, my dad. One of the sub county chiefs in Kamwani. I am a son of a slave. I am a son of a slave. My father originally originated from part of Southern Sudan. A tribe, the Karamojong in Southern Sudan. They are called the Toposa. The Toposa. Toposa, that word Toposa means it is a mineral. Topaz. Mm. You go on the internet to find out it is like a ruby. A very expensive mineral. Like a diamond. That mineral was King Solomon's mine in the Bible, that area. So my father was picked as a slave. In that group, it was my father together with his sister. When they, they reached, Topaz is just a border in Karamoja. When they reached near the border of, of Karamoja, he was the youngest slave. They said, this one is stupid. Go and get us water for the other slaves. He ran there. When he reached the well to get the water, he found an hunter, somebody who had honey. Mm. That man said, go and get me. He said, no, let me give you honey. You go there and get, drink water. Let me give the honey. He went down there, my father pulled the ladder because he is a slave and not eating anything. He ran away with, with the honey in the bush. <laughs> they waited for the slave to bring water, nobody. They sent somebody else. And then after getting water, they drove his sister was up to Mombasa. The other one were shipped away. The sister was a black beauty. One of the soldiers, it was a Mokamba. Mohammed Nguku took, took the sister to my, my, my father as his wife, becoming even a Muslim. So my father now, the Karamojong men found a small boy in the bush. They picked him in the bush. They brought the first European that we found this boy in the bush. Okay, the Muzungu said, now he called his servant. You know, all the Europeans entered here with the workers from Mombasa. But then, you know, it used to take three months to go to Europe, and from Europe to come to Africa by, by ship. There were no planes in that time. Mm. So the, the first person to come here, they came with their workers from the coast, from Mombasa. So it's called the, 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 the worker. To go with this boy, will be helping you in the kitchen there to wash plates and so forth. So my father used to work in the kitchen. Lucky enough, he learned Swahili, the kitchen Swahili. After learning Swahili, now the Musungu, now this would be good. Whenever I go to address the Karamojong, he would hear in the Karamojong and tell me in Swahili. So they made him an interpreter. He continued as interpreter, good boy, hard work. Another promotion, they made him now what you call a postman, but that time they called it donkey boy. Mm. There were no vehicles. Donkey boy. Donkey boy. <laughs> to move with taking mail from Moroto to Kitale. Karamoya was connected to Kenya. To Kitale, which is 140 mi miles. 140 miles. Miles, not kilometer. From Moroto to Kitale. That's the nearest city to Karamoja, that time, colonial time. So donkey boy taking the mail, bring back a, a food stuff for the Muzungu. Donkey boy, donkey boy, hard work. Lorica, they promote you. They promote him now into Her Majesty agent. <laughs> That's RDC, what you call RDC. Now, now they promote him to be the RDC of colonial RDC. All the chiefs to be under him. Now, Bukaga now. Now, whenever now goes to. to to, to command, to check on the chiefs. He's given a cow, he's given a goat. Now he started marrying. My mother was the first. He ended up marrying seven women. Now come at the, the question of education. Colonial time, they say, my father was called Lorica. Lorica is a, a word in English, anta. 
a hunter. Hey, Lori Kachamu goes hunting because he was born in the bush. <laughs> you are the son of an hunter. Yeah. Now, from there, from there now, they told me now, Lorica, now what we want, education now. All the chiefs should take their children to education. So my father did not have any other, not even one child to go to, to look after cows. He used uh, other workers. Yeah. The family were taken for education. That's how the family got the chance now. They are the hand. We are the first families. To be, to be educated in Karamoja. Yeah. Mm. So that's how they introduced education in, in, in Karamoja. In Karamoja. In Karamoja. Is it about the Karamojong being the, the Jews? Now, the Karamojong, mm. when we came from, uh, from Egypt, we ended up in Ethiopia. And Ethiopia now, we start now, you know, Catholic people moving. They found uh, a lake Turkana in behind this mountain, there's a lake. Mm. There was a lake there. Some remain there, said, ah, we cannot cross the lake. Those are the Karamojong in Ethiopia, they are called Nyangatom. Nyangatom. Yellow elephant, brown elephant. Mm. I don't know why they call them brown elephant. And then the the few got a chance to cross the, the, the lake. The lake to, kind of to cross the lake again, they found this mountain here. Mm. What you call Mount Moro, Mount Moroto. Mm. Behind there, there are caves. Those ones remain there. Turukan means a cave. They remain behind them because of the caves of this mountain. Uh, for us, here is enough. Have, here is enough. Let us stay here. Yeah, let us stay here. But the, the children cave. again. Traveled down there, they found a gap to come this side. This side, they call it Moroto, but the real word is Moruto. Moru is a mountain, To is west. Those ones are on the eastern side. We are on the, on the western side. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. What they, they are put in the books, Moroto is Moruto. Moru is a mountain, To is west. Mm -hmm. So we came here. What do they call us, Karamojong? Elders Bakoe. Ekara is Okokoa. Mm. Mojong is elder. Elders Bakoe. Mm. So after traveling, those ones now we remain here. We are the breed of those elder people who remain here. They use continue. They went to what you call Teso. Yeah. Palisa, Tororo, Malaba. Teso means artist. The graveyard, Mulambo. We thought they were dead. Because they didn't come back. They didn't come back even to bring the cows or anything. They continued grabbing the like, getting fertile land, water, grass. Yeah. We thought we were dead. Yeah. So, Ates. They are from that word, Ates. Ates. Ates is a graveyard, Mulambo. Dalo. Amaralo. Yeah. So, that's how those are. Then, they continued Teso, Palisa, Tororo. Malaba, Kenya, and then the other group, Kotiro, Kabong, they entered Sudan, where he said you are the King Solomon mine. Those ones were called Topaz. Toposa is the from the, that word, Topaz, a mineral. That's the home. Even if you go there now, it's a place of a lot of gold and so forth. And the because governor said he's connected. The governor is, is my brother. <laughs> he, 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 his father and my father were brothers. My father was grabbed as a, as a slave. As a slave. The, the brother. But after Remedia. after some time, you 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 you, you knew where you where, where, where Yes, where yes, yes, yeah, yeah, we knew. You knew. You, you knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. want to know about your, 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 the sister of your father. Who, who yeah, is yeah, married? Yeah. The sister of uh, my, my father, Ajat, when they were shipping the, the slaves, one of the soldiers begged, he said, to the Muzungu, Said, give me, leave me this black beauty. They left him there. <laughs> so when my father became a big man here, he learned that the sister is still alive. Send a message, colonial message. They sent there. They brought her together with the husband. He is the one who built here, Kamiswahili. The Kamiswahili of Moroto. He was the head of Kamiswahili in Moroto. Because the Europeans came with, with the people from Mombasa. So they also put them in their class because they were next to a white man. That's why you see in Moroto we have Kamiswahili. So Moroto we have Kamiswahili. Eh? Mm -hmm. Because those people mm -hmm. were top class. The ones in Kampala, they were with the Europeans. When they go, that's why you know, you know Kisenyi. Yes. He's an abusive word, Kishenzi. Primitive Africans. Because they put them also in the class of a white man. 
So when they go, na talk about you, Koko or Chenzi, they are not even the Monte Lehman. So what, you know, that's what, what you call it, Kishenzi. It's Kishenzi, primitive Africans. They put themselves into a class. So the ones in the, the here, where they stay, they call it Kambi Swahili, the place for Swahili camp. Yeah. They camp put them Swahili. in the class of a white man. Yeah. They also put them in the, <coughs> be number two, the white man, top class. <laughs> yeah. So where they say it comes Swahili. Yeah. Yeah. Camp Swahili. A camp Swahili. Kwa, camp for camp, Swahili. A camp in an area. Yeah, in, a, a, camp, a camp for Swahili yeah, people. For Swahili people, yeah. But here, so they also Swahili. Camp Swahili. Mm. Mm. In Kampala, they were saying in Kololo with the, with the white man. Yeah. But when they go to where their fellow Africans are, is what they say, Kishenzi. 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 What do you call it, So the Baganda translated mm. it into that Kishenzi. And they, they, they where, 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 where there's no nothing coming there, yeah. they call it a Kishenzi. 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 Primitive. Primitive. Mushenzi means the primitive, primitive. Uh, the little local people. Uh, eh? But eh? We, but but we thought Kisenyi is um, is uh, a swamp area. No, I told you the meaning of Kisenyi. Mm. It comes from a Swahili word. Swahili word. Kisenzi. 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 Okay. Primitive, because they are not even Muslim and so forth. You know, they will put them in a, in a, in a, in a class. Yeah. Even the, the, what you call Kampala. Kampala is not Kampala. Mm. It's Kambala. Kambala. It's an Arabic word. Kambala means a, a center of problem. <laughs> because when they came, when they reached the middle of the lake, mm. you see, when, when they came, they reached the middle of the lake, where you call la, Lambu. They said, hey, well, here is like Lamu. Lamu. Now our people say, Lambu. Lambu. Mm. Mm. When they came to rule Masaka here, Lunguja, oh, what a long journey. Mm. Now you call it Lunguja. Lunguja. Yeah, because you are traveling with the long journey. There's a, on this river here, 50, about 15 kilometers. Mm. They go from Lodwa, is a desert. When they see that they found a permanent river, uh, the trees like this. Oh, it was a cool day. Now the Karamojo could cool Nadeo. They said, when they said oh, it was a cool day, now the Karamojo got that place, cool Nadeo. Cool Nadeo. They entered the Karamoja from Ketale through Amodat, carrying luggage and so forth. Carry on, carry on. Now, if you want to abuse somebody up to the bone marrow, mm. you say, Kirion. Kirion. <laughs> you become a native language now. If you want to abuse your exhaust all your anger, you say carry on. on. But what the, the word carry on, carry on, carry on. People are tired. And, and they, are they, they are lifting, they are lifting a European. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are lifting a European. Yeah, yeah. On, yeah. on, their, on. on their shoulders. Yes. Now, they say you carry on. Now, now the, yeah, you carry you on. You carry on. Yeah. Carry on, carry on. Let us go. go away. Carry on. You carry on. To go, you carry on. Get yeah. a mask. Now, <laughs> if you want to abuse somebody up to the bone marrow. Exhaust all the ang anger. You say Kirion. Kirion. <laughs> Is it not part of it? It's part of your language. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the, so, the, so the, the, that is the history. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But like here now, our brother, the, the other side is the lake. Here, water table in Karamoja. You have to go about put it. Put the feet, it is water. You dig a dam. <laughs> Karamoja is all the water is blowing down. Yeah. You can grow a lot of things here. Now, honey, you can. I have a plan now to put it, to tap the honey. Mm. Yeah. I am buying all the electricity poles which they are throwing in Kampala, which they are cutting, which are rot. All I'm going to put a shade with the grass shade and put 300. BIF, 200 BIF, honey will be full like water. Because the chain of mountain, Yamoroto, Namalu, Napak, the whole Karamoja mountain after mountain, honey will flow like water. That is in the Bible, you are promised. Because say, I'm taking you to an, an area where there will be a lot of uh, honey and milk. A land flowing with the milk and honey. Promised and honey. Land. That's what we are promised as Jews. Mm. That's what I'm implementing now. As Jews, yeah. So 
I your tell ancestor. you the conference, Canary Island, Spain, is where they broke to me the news. We are Jews. According to history, mm. you, we hear that we don't know how the black people went in Egypt and started building these pyramids. Mm. We don't know the origin, how they came from. Me, I've just heard it today mm. Mm. that Karamo Jones are the ones who are the ones who built those those pyramids. Yes. Now, yes, we are yeah, yeah, because but you were there is a museum. Listen, mm. in Nikitale, yeah, I had a friend here picked all the the attire which are depicted in Egypt. In a, we have a museum in Kitale here. Muzungu was here, my friend of mine, who brought all the seeds of these trees. John Wilson, he passed away, but the family is in Italy. You would see wonders of this world. All what he collected from Karamojo. And it's all available in Egypt. Kitale is where? Kitale, Kenya. here, in Kenya, here. You can drive from, I told you, 140 kilometers. I'm from miles, here. miles. Yeah. I'm that and then you enter Kitale. Tororo, Malaba, you can also enter Kitale through the other side. Malaba, you go to Tororo, yeah. Malaba, which is Bungoma, you enter Kitale. You will see on the map. Kitale is just. From Malaba to Kitale. Yeah. Yeah. But even still from here, you drive 60. Yeah, it, it depends which area you want. You can enter from here, you can enter from here. Six, six, six. 68 to Naka. 88 to Nakapiripri, then 30 kilometers to Kenya border. That is now the, uh, the Pokot people. Then from there, you are already in Kitale. Listen, the history of Egypt when we were in Egypt when we suffered, mm -hmm. it's being taught to the young Karamojo. They call it the story of Napeikisina, of a woman with one breast. To describe a pyramid, you get a hot Karamojo gun. They don't put these braziers. They cut the bread. I've got a, a picture of a Karamojo with a Girl with hot breast, I think it is in the bar over there. I don't know which someone can get. If you cut that breast and put it on the table, that's how to describe a pyramid when we suffered in Egypt. And then the Karamojong, any Karamojong would be willing to die. He said, Those who suffered when building the pyramid, where are they? Mm. <laughs> I'm, I, can, I, I can as well die. <laughs> To on, die, fire, fire. We, 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 we don't fear. Mm. So when there's an enemy, we are ready to die. Because we lost our ancestors, billions of people. That's why there's no population in, in Egypt. That's why you are underpopulated. And now, <laughs> where I come from, Nabilatu, that, those, uh, that, that tribe or that, that clan, we call the Nipians, angels. Mm. Angels. You read in the Bible. And then Nabilatu, you know when when we had, when we left Egypt, the Pharaoh wanted to kill us and so forth. All the cows and the, the enemies there. Nabila took that river is there. It's also represented there. Nabila, that river in in, in Nabila took. It's called Nabila took. The one which destroyed the cows in the, in the Bible. You remember when the, Moses? Yeah, yeah. yeah. When Moses when was crossing, trying to cross the river. That is the river the Karamojo called it Nabilatu. They are following the Bible. Yeah. And if you want another miracle, yeah. go to my, my, my place in Kidepo, you will see a miracle there. If you see the map, you will see all these Arab words broke away. On the map, you see uh, one of Africa. Out to, uh, that all that part was the headquarters must have been in Karamoja. Because come to Kidepo, to my hotel, you see a statue of Jesus. Billions of years it, it was made there, people. And that Kidepo was built by Amin. Amin is a Muslim. Yeah, Mo Amin was a Muslim. Do you think how could a Muslim put Jesus there, people kissing Jesus? Feet? No. Uh, to prove it, that, that was there billions of years, a statue of Jesus. Is on, yeah. the on, the on the rock. It is on the rock. Mm. On the rock. That's made on the rock. You come and see the one. The rock the one. is Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Where is it? How many, how many kilometers from here? Two hundred something. Two hundred something. You can see a miracle of the one. Far. Yeah. yeah, but it's far. We can drive. There's no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Big statue of Jesus. Yeah. When I was going around, there is one tribe here. Yeah. Yeah. which is owning many businesses around yeah. the Babisu. 
How how come the Bagisu are too influential here? Because when you find them, you can't know that they are Bagisus. But mm. me, I know the accent. My research. Why is Bagisu too much here in Bagisu? These are special people because Bagisu they are starting from scratch. A Mugisu comes to the area, it starts just a Rolex. He has a fear to just hold it, make Rolex in the sun until he becomes a friend to the natives. From there now, once he becomes a friend of native, he now he's part of, of the developers of the place. Then he goes to other business. Then he goes to start buying a goat, by buying that. They start the business. And then he also learns what the, the area wants. He starts to, to, to bring. To that, bring. That's how the market. They don't come here in a big place. They start from zero. Because they have a population pressure. F from a population, the mother of Bugisu. all human beings are in Bugisu because the population and they, 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 they heal. They, they, they the heal mother of all yeah. human population, beings. Yes. yes. They occupy the whole mountain going up to Kenya. They are called Bokusu in the Kenya side. Population. They are like people in Kabale. They are many. They are very many, yes. Yeah. Even their girls are smiling. <laughs> they don't discriminate people. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why they are... Not like Kalamajong the girls. <laughs> <laughs> we matured with the Bagisu girls. And they are also... Population pressure. Yeah, because the Kalamajong, you must have cows and it's a long process. <laughs> yeah. And the others are cheap. Not cheap. No, they are you. friendly, you know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> with it. Yeah. 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 A danger, she's a danger. No, like cannot go where human being, yeah, where they are bringing Malua, everything she's a, a yeah, cast. Yeah, so, outcast. Outcast. Yeah. Very valuable and very expensive. To marry a caramoji. It's like buying a Mercedes. I think because that's the most expensive vehicle uh, during our time. Uh, not a Japanese car. <laughs> <laughs> it's like holding a Mercedes. It's the top of the range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because she's everything. She's so expensive. She's the one who goes no to the garden. She's the one who goes for, 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 for water. She's the one who builds the house. Uh, making malwa for the man. Uh, everything. Uh, 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 what is going you know, to be cooked? Uh, to tamper with a Karamojo married woman who is married is cows. But originally, they get a stick and push it through your <laughs> knee. You have to die. It's the mother. Yeah. There is that. There is that. That bad message, which will out, outside people, uh, people of outside people of Karamoja, mm -hmm. whom they think that when when you come in Karamoja, people will know. Now, getting that confidence back, as the confidence you are giving us today, it's very, very, very important. That is very easy. There's no. You see, if you come with the magazi of uh, idea of cheating the local people is very simple they come they want to get the <laughs> land get the title and mortgage it somewhere and take the money to another place it's very simple you come here we shall attach you to one of uh, the official lc or an elder of the area very simple if you want to test an idea come with a tractor now if you come with a tractor tomorrow and you go and be in one place to plow people's garden, you become a native. And there's also in Karamoja where you can be initiated to, to become a, a, a native. Just a slot a bull, you become you, you, you become one of the, the, the people there. The people. Who are fine there. Who are fine there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Ugandan. You, you people, you, you, have, you have not appreciated to be Ugandan. You don't. I call you, you don't true. claim to be a Ugandan. It's true. Because why should uh, Munamasaka not have a, a, even an investment outside the, his region? Or oh, somewhere in Kabale, in the, that tight place, uh, they, they, they don't go other places. 
But for me, I can prove I am Ugandan. Now, Karamoji, you have seen where I'm sitting. I have an investment here, Mount Moroto Hotel. Before I reach Kampala, Soroti is an open. 50 kilometers from here, I have a ranch at the border of Karamoji and Teso. You go Soroti, I'm there to meet the factory. Soroti, before I reach Mbale, there was a, a small lake there. And a small area there. I have a small investment. Bale, I'm not planning to be in Jinja. I'm in Kampala. I'm in Entebbe. I'm up to, yeah, because the Uganda and Museven has given us peace for 40 years. Yes. Two that years, meantime, true. everywhere, we drop the Tamurito, get out of the vehicle, lining, things we are Now there's peace to make money. What, what, what is preventing people? You should have a taxi from here going to Kitugum, to going to Kenya, going to Turkana, Juba. Everywhere is open now. There's peace. All the Rwandis, because of the tribalism which was in Rwanda, they were in Bugana for more than 50 years. It's only after when, when, when Museveni took over, brought peace, mm. is when they got a chance to go back. Eh? Kagame all the people were in Uganda. Mm. And even when they went back, they went with the Matoke and so forth to Uganda. Yeah, because they learned in Uganda. Mm. The Matoke, the coffee. They were all handling all the Uganda agriculture and all the, the, the workers in Uganda. They learned a lot of the Mpisa, Nganda, and, and, and they went back when they were going back, they went with Matoke and replanted the curriculum in uh, Rwanda. So, but now, for all those years now, that's why you see everybody, including me, learned business and got rich in Uganda because of Mageji. Now, in Uganda, it has now reached a stage where people say that Etakalike and Obanange, people have taken all their land, there's no land for, for local people. Mm. Mm. Yeah. But in Karamoja, we're inviting our brothers from other parts of Uganda to come and invest in Karamoja. Karamoja, Etakalikaaba. The land is crying for development. development. Karamoja <laughs> covers 10% of Uganda land. Karamoja, from Kenya border up to Kidepo, which is the uh, Sudan border, is 500 kilometers. 500 kilometers is from Moroto to Kampala. From Moroto, you drive to Soroti, 100 something kilometers, Ochari, Karamoja. Mm -hmm. You have reached Mbale, you have reached yeah. Busoga, up to Kampala, Five kilometers, 500. From Kampala to go where Uganda ends, Kabale, is not 500 kilometers. Maybe it could be 400. Which means, Karamoja, you have to enter again Congo, maybe another 100 kilometers. Even if you go to West Nile, it's not from Kampala, it's not 500 kilometers. You have to enter Congo or Sudan to, to cover that. You see, that's why we want our brothers in the other parts of Uganda to come and do investment in Karamoja. Karamoja has nine districts. Nine districts covering that area. There are about three million cows, three million goat and sheep. So we want investors to come and develop. And how many people? We are only 1.2 million. You see Rwanda, which is 24,000 square kilometer. Karamoja is 20. Rwanda has 12 million. Buganda, you know, big number. Big number. Yeah. Mm. Here, a Takadikaba, come and do taxi, come and do butchery, buy the animals. Our late brother, Walisi Limpanga, eh, was the only person who, who had Uganda at heart. He used to buy animals in Tesla and so forth, he went to Lota and Uganda. He became rich and put uh, the first Ugandan to become an agent of Toyota vehicles. In, in eh, Uganda, yes. Yeah, in, in Uganda. So, let people come here. Eh? But they fear. Come and open the supermarket. Come and do taxes from here to Kenya, to Sudan, to Kampala, to, to Roti, to, to Mbale, Kampala. Money after money after money. Come and buy animals from here and go and slaughter in Kampala. Eh? Now our brothers in Congo are joining us with 100 million. Congo is joining us with 100 million people. A kilo of meat in Congo, Mutualo, Munana. Yes, Why don't you come true. here and take the cows and so forth? You can even 
take them live there or we slaughter in Soroti. Me have now my factory in Soroti. We'll be slaughtering 500 cows every day. 1,500 goats and sheep. That's what I've designed. Which means the whole Karamojo Teso will benefit. 1,500. Now even that one, you come there and become an agent of Bienda. Everybody. Katogo. Everybody will buy. That, that would be money. Money would go to direct to the people. Come and we grow things in Karamoja. Yeah. Although people say it is a desert, sunflower is growing well in Karamoja. You can put the same thing. Green grams, these beans, Indian thing, it's hottest cake, better than maize than anything. It's in high demand. It does well in Karamoja. Uh, white beans. Is in Bazungu tin, can eat in tins. Is in Sogam. Our brothers in Rwanda will buy even if it is a thousand trucks. They, they, they want the white sogam. You can do agriculture in a massive scale. That's what I'm doing. I have everything tractors, planters, weeders, sprayer, harvester. The only harvester in even know that you got to import it. Want to do this year? I want to do more than a thousand acres. When it is agriculture, we are in the garden. When to eat meat, we go hunting, we do military work. Our teachers were ex They are military, military who came from Second World War, were the ones who are teachers. ex is ex King's, yeah. yeah. King's African Rifle. K-A-R, King's African Rifle. King African Rifle. Mm. King African Rifle. King African Rifle. Mm. The meaning of K-A-R. Mm. Those were teachers. This will be the old school. <laughs> so for us, we had a school <laughs> farm. Listen. <laughs> The school farm to grow food. <laughs> and then every student, listen, mm. every student must have your personal garden, some few acres, a small area. You have to put cabbage, carrot, beetroot, your own. Every student, if it is 200 students, each must have a small place where you plant Easy garden. Things, each garden. And then the big one for the school. That's why you see me, if you go everywhere I stay, Everything I have my fruits, I have what every every home where I am food is there. We, we learn from school. To eat meat, we can we go hunting. We kill whatever we kill, we bring to the kitchen. We leave six in the morning, come back at night. The whole day we surround an area like this, big boys go inside and tell the animals, when they come to you, you have to do something to kill. And that taken to the kitchen. So our education was different. It was practical. Practical education. Yeah. And for me, I had even a chance to be now with the, the Muzungu. He taught me a lot of the other things. I used to go to the villages to buy local chicken for getting eggs. Um, our fridge was a wire mesh, you put charcoal. You, you make a double like this, inside you fill with charcoal, the whole cupboard like a cupboard. Put the eggs in, you pour water on this charcoal, it cool, it's cool outside. You don't need a fridge like this, that was the fridge. We learned a lot of things. But the education now, children now just play with the papers, nothing, no problem, no, they don't plant even anything. Come wherever I stay, even Arrow Beach, everything is there. It was a place where they were throwing the rubbish of Rentebi. I took it over. Now it's one of the ones. This next week I'm putting the biggest helicopter in the world. I bought it, I'm pulling it there. How many you know the friends are more than 10? All the way are buried, I dug them out. So the president gives them to motivate the youth to become a pilot, to become an engineer, even to buy one. I bought a plane, a small one, it's the packet in Kajansi. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now I want to get a helicopter. Yeah. Everything is possible if you are serious. Mm. Museven chose to go to the bush to liberate that. He succeeded. That's what Yere said, it can be done, play your part. Everything is possible. The richest man in the world mm. used the brain. Mm. He was a yeah. Greek. He went to people. He went to people who make a plan for the a big a big ship a ta with a tanker which can carry crude oil like the oil Uganda now has discovered. They made a plan for him. He went to oil company. He said, "I have this tanker being made. Can you give me work to carry your crude oil?" He said, "Yes, this one." We like it. They signed an agreement for him to be transporting crude oil. He took the plan and then that guy went to the bank. He got the money and opposed. He became so rich. The man 
both even an island. I copy with you, I have got also an island now in Entebbe, right on the equator. Mine is different. Mine, I'm going to produce a certificate. Some people would be buying a certificate which says that you have been in the middle of the world, right on the equator, right in the middle of the world to prove it. The water cannot go like this, can go the other side like the one in, on the equator. I have an island. So this man developed the island. When American president went to, like now coming to Karamoja, they took him to, to the Mugaga's home to see on the island of that man. It was fantastic. He went back to America, but bad luck, luck, the president was assassinated when they were driving in the open car on, like Lao Kampala Road on, on the main street. Yeah, yeah. Enemies went on top of uh, the uh, Kadena and shot him. But what happened? The first lady, Namwandu, went and got married to that billionaire. Even they had a son, but the son also got an accident on, on they gave him an aircraft, a small aircraft. So the widow of America was taken by that woman. That man developed the place, even got an airline, Olympic airline. Yes. Olympic, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Olympic, yes. yeah, Olympic airline. Yes. He used the brain to get all the wealth. There are people who, like now you discover something, a mineral, and an investor come. You can get money. So this is the thing, you need to, the brain. Hmm? Abdallah Enoch, you know, I've been all my life when I was young, mm. until these Indians came back and took our, our what? Our, our, our shops. Mm. Plot, plot 35 Martin Road, Odi Kampala. Mm. That is the center of all the people who went to school mm. in Kampala. The, the man was not, you know, we used to have that home. You should go to Kidepo. With the 50 mm. people. Oh, yeah. you go to see what 50 done. people. I mean, he was uh, giving away Indian things after the Indians have been sacked. <laughs> yeah. You wanted the transparency. You, like now the, the, the town, the, the thing, the part which you are interested, you go and lie in here. Mm -hmm. Every shop, those who want a, a shop who are selling clothes or what. So I signed. You lie in front of the shop you are interested in. Yeah, the, I, the, I lied in the one of the glass. For him, he went on that line of the glass. He wanted the, the shop, shop of, of a glass dealer. Not for uh -huh. shoes, yeah, not yeah, for clothes. Yeah. But you know, glass. because you shop, yes. you are selling different things. Uh -huh. Spare parts. Why did Why did you choose glass? Eh? Why did you choose glass of all the Why glass, glass of things? Of of because I knew I, I wanted to do the glass business mm. because everybody's building would need a glass mm. a window. A window, yeah. So that's why I chose there, I and that gave me a chance now to supply uh, because I was a glass dealer. Because there are boys there were expert even cutting glass, everything mm. they were, were working from Wendy. Yeah. Yeah. Then I was checking the books. I found that they used to bring these things from Nairobi, a uh, glass mat. I went to Nairobi, the people who were... Uh, <laughs> uh, and you started uh, dealing in glass. In glass. And then uh, I got the chance to supply all the barracks. Wherever they build the barracks, I you supply put the glass. My work, the contractor, they build the other thing, glass. That's I quit. Made money. Mm. Eh? Made money. So I lined with a, a, a friend of mine who was a, a banker. You got the factory for, for making a paper bank. You know, this one, when you buy anything, one yeah, kilo yeah, of yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We got that one. But the man uh, who was my partner, who was a, a banker, very clever. Yeah. Uh, that one. <laughs> <laughs> he took the business. So, so when we were ordering the rolls of, of, of the okay. raw material from outside, all this is. I mean, cheated me a lot and then we had to sell off the, the business. I went to Somalia. Listen, during the president of Somalia, the late Siad Bari. Siad Bari. I went there. There there was a ship which got sunk in, in the Somali port mm -hmm. with millions of tons of, of textile. When I went there, the Somali president gave me 20 trailers. 20 trailers free of charge, full of goods. Uh, but part of those goods were raw material for making shoes and so forth. I gave to people in Kenya. Now, the textile, listen, mm. 
the, the other lorries were textile. I brought to Kampala, and from Kampala, I gave all to army shop because I said, no, I did not have money for clearing lorries. And <laughs> I said, everything, give to our soldiers. That's good. That's I become close to the Somali government. Even now, the former first lady, there's one in Uganda. Mm. They know I'm the right hand man for Somali. It's called Adija. It's called Adija.